does God connect directly to us through the Holy Spirit? Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is the only way that I know of at this point in time that God connects directly to us mm -hmm. is through the Holy Spirit. That's why I called it the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. because it was the, the, the term holy, meaning pure, perfect, without sin. And uh, the, the, the reason why I called it the Holy Spirit or, or the feeling that I had at the time when I called it that name was that it was, it was the most important energy coming from God. Mm. I saw it as more important than the creative energy coming from God, more important than the maintenance type of wow. energy that comes from God is this energy that carries divine love to the human soul. Mm. And it only carries divine love to the human soul. The Holy Spirit has no other operation. Mm. It doesn't create. The Holy Spirit has no purpose in creation as the Bible claims. Mm. The Holy Spirit doesn't create. God creates mm. through a creative energy and force, mm. uh, which, is, which is separate to the Holy Spirit itself. But the Holy Spirit, it does have a creative actions, but, but the Holy Spirit itself is, a, is an energy, a conduit for the flow of love. Mm. And, and not just the flow of any love, it's the flow of God's love yeah. into us, transforming us into God's substance. In other words, the substance of God, love, that of God's love enters our soul and transforms our soul. If you could actually look at the soul, mm. you would see the transformation taking place in the soul. Mm. And, and in fact, spirits in the soul union condition see that transformation taking place as the soul receives divine love from wow. God. And so what happens is the soul itself is transformed from the only human soul, the image of God, into the substance of divine, a divine soul. Now not just the image of God, but rather the image that now contains a part of God's substance. Yes, yes. Which is a completely different creature, yes. actually. And in fact, uh, the majority of people in the spirit world uh, only above the sixth dimension of the spirit world begin to see that different mm. creature mm. and they start seeing. And in fact, the spirits of the sixth dimension often think of these spirits in a higher location as being different creatures mm. and they don't consider that mm. they could be mm. that Gee. different creature. And that's the transformation that we often sort of hear about and that's desire right. is this transformation. You do become a completely new creature. You do become a completely new creature that's divine in its nature. Mm. You are not God no. and you will never be such. Mm. Mm. But, but a part of God's substance, love, mm. is now within you to a degree that you've become at one with God in the way you love. Mm. And because of this at one with God in the way that you love, it doesn't mean you might make other mistakes because mm. you will. Mm. You, may, you may not have other knowledge because you will continually gather more knowledge. You're not perfected in knowledge when you're at one with God. Right. You're perfected in love. Yeah. Right? It's love that is the underlying guidepost of what happens when you become at one with God. Yeah. So when you become at one with God, now that you're at one with God, your soul has actually got completely different characteristics and nature that it had before. It has abilities that it never had before mm. and that can never have just as a completed human soul. Wow. And, and it's the, the entry of the divine, the entry yeah. of God's love that's entering you that causes these transitions in the soul that change the very formation of the soul itself into and, and add to its capacities and abilities to such an extent that the soul's capacities and abilities become godlike. Mm. And, uh, and this is the transformation that occurs that I call the new birth yeah. and that I refer to as being born again. Now, now, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. That's why the Holy Spirit is a holy spirit mm. Mm. because the, the work mm. of this Holy Spirit is to cause this transformation of the human soul. The Holy Spirit doesn't operate on any other creature other than the human and God. Okay. So it's a connection on one end to God and on the other end is the human soul. There is no other creature and mm. no other intermediary mm. that can connect to the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit at this point in time, and I say at this point in time because it's not known in the future whether there might not be other attributes of God yes. which God gives to us as gifts as God gave divine love to us as a yes. gift. Right? 
So in the future, there might be other attributes of God that God may give to us as a gift, and they might have a different type of energy mm. that needs to be connected in order for their gift to flow between God's soul and our own. But the Holy Spirit is this gift that opens up everything. Mm. It's, the, it's the energy, the conduit for which the love can flow through. And it is the only connection that we can have directly with God mm. at this point in time. Um, yeah, right? yeah. But it, it is also the one that is the primary one to experience because without it, the transformational effects of the, of the divine love won't occur on the human soul. Mm. And then, of course, any future gift that the human soul might be able to receive from God can't be received either. Mm. Yes. So everything is dependent upon our connecting with this divine love wow. and, and having this connection through the Holy Spirit. Mm. So the Holy Spirit is a very important energy of God, but it is not an entity. Sure. It is not God. Sure. It is not a part of God mm. in the sense of a, of a free-thinking individual part of God. Mm. It is just an energy of God, an attribute of God, a characteristic of God. You could think of it as God's arm mm. being held out to the human soul. Mm. Mm. That's really what it is. Mm. Oh, that's excellent. Mm.